How's it going guys? Dan here from Hoover Guy Adventures and today is Doctor Who 73 Yards and I bet you're just happy again that we've got a different background <laughs> once again the joys of Doctor Who Midnight releases <laughs> so I'm now back at home but um, with the release of these episodes I can't really film in my bedroom <laughs> so um, I mean, this works well for you if you weren't a fan of uh, the background we've had for the past 10 years doing reactions, but um, this will be what it's like now, I'm guessing. It's at a kitchen table, but <coughs> um, yeah, anyway, Doctor Who, uh, 73 yards, um, a Doctor Light story this is going to be, um, by the sounds of things, so it's going to be one that heavily focuses on... Millie Gibson's uh, performance this episode which is going to be quite exciting to see um, we don't really know much about it Welsh folk horror story and that's pretty much it that's all we know um, so honestly anything could happen this story um, I think we're supposed to have unit this story but I'm not entirely sure so not holding out too much hope for Kate to appear. Uh, I think Carla's uh, Carla's mum, Ruby's mum, Carla is in it, so that should be nice. Um, Dame Sean Phillips is in this one, so that should be exciting as well. And um, yeah, so gonna see what it's like. So without any further ado, well, the titles. Is there no title sequence? What's this? Why is there no title sequence? That smell. That green. I don't get. Why is there no titles? Also, war between the land and the sea. That could be a hint towards Sea Devil spin-off. So spoilers. Forget I said anything. No, no, no. Tell me what happened. I'm not a fan of his outfit of this episode. I miss you. That's all it says. Rest in peace. I guess he's gone. Jack. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, poor old Mad Jack. Hey, she seems about 73 yards away. Very clever. Well, is she getting further away? Or is she keeping that exact 73 yards if Ruby gets nearer? Who is this? It's it's not Susan too West, is it? I think it's someone else entirely. Oh, <laughs> I wonder what was happening there. I'm like, oh, that's some bad effects. <laughs> oh, this is our into. You must be mad. Is that all you're wearing? Yeah, I got kind of caught. Um, the the car broke down. Oh no. Oh, poor thing. Also, snow. I forgot about that. Bye, Susan. See you next week. How do you pay with your phone? I don't have Apple oh, Pay. Well, it's all right on the phone. But the phone can transfer money from my account into. Yes, you can pay with your phone. <laughs> Five quid. Bloody hell for a coke. How much? Five quid. The cliff tops are a boundary between the land and the sea. Sea the devils? No space, neither here nor there will. It's him. It's him. It's not oh him. My God, it's him. I would roundhouse kick them all if they said all that to me. She's back! I told her that man was no good with his box of magic tricks. All right, well, just be careful. Okay. <gasps> you having a nice time? Yeah, I I'm, I'm just speaking to... You're standing in the street, on the phone, to your own mother. Y yeah. Mom! Okay, this is very much Sarah Jane Adventures, Curse of Clu Ride. Um... <laughs> Vibes. I mean, I love that story. That's probably my favourite story from the whole show. 
This is very much vibes from that episode. I'm your daughter. No. Except you're not. Are you? Even your real mother didn't want you. That was harsh. So no. I take it that's the woman behind me, is that right? Kate! Yes. Good. Well, just look at me instead. I'm Kate Lethbridge Stewart, and I think I can help. Oh, uh, but, but she won't. If you talk to her, she. I don't know, she does something. My staff have full psychic training. We have telepathic dampers, <sighs> metal shielding, work. and necklaces of silver and salt in case of witchcraft. Don't worry, you're with experts now. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Go, go, go! All units initiate target approach. Do not engage. I mean, you don't have to engage to okay, to be put under a spell. Oh, there we go. It's happened to Kate. Disengage. Oh my God. Jesus. I was a jack of all treats. Mad Jack, they used to call me. Oh. Mad Jack. <laughs> that dude is punching. We've got work to do. I have a thousand pounds in my savings, which I can donate right now. I'll do leaflets, answering the phones, just tell me what to do and I'll do anything. Hey, I'll even carry the coats. <laughs> <laughs> I think Amy Pond's got a new contender for the girl who waited. Oh, I think I know what she's doing. Turning the world against against him by having them both together yeah what's gonna happen though oh he can see her and he's gonna run away I still don't really get what's going on Another 40 years. I'm sorry, Ruby. I can't drive any closer. I can't get a signal for the engine this far out. What a beautiful view. Oh, look at the TARDIS. Why do people put flowers here? I don't think they know. Well, surely all this is going to get reversed. I presume she must be gone, my mother. Light. Oh, she's near her. This is creepy. A bit too creepy. Oh, I don't like this. I was sorry I took so long. And I tried so hard. And look at me. I was so young. Hang on, so it was Ruby. Okay guys, so that was 73 yards. And I'm going to be honest, I don't 
fully know what to think of it. I've left my review, usually I go straight into my review, I jump back into OBS, uh, take a little footage off and I just go straight into it. But I left it a little bit um, <laughs> for probably the first time ever. I, uh, it's been about 10 15 minutes since it ended. I just had a school roll through to Witter and uh, I was just trying to think of all four of the episode. And uh, I don't know. You see, I, I'm, I'm quite 50 50 on it. Now, this episode gave me very much Curse of Cl Ride Ranger vibes from Sarah Jane Adventures, which is my favourite story of that entire show. So that part of the of this episode I liked I liked a lot. Um, really Gibson, phenomenal, just great. Um, she's she's really really amazing. This episode, um, I think. It's the ending that just sort of lets this episode down a bit. Um, we don't really learn much about the f future Ruby, we'll call her the woman who's 73 yards away. All we know is that it's her, and that's it. It's like, how exactly does it all make sense? How does it sort of work? Um, what is she saying to people? Why are people running away? That's what I'm not really understanding. Um, and from what what I've seen, some other people are sort of having that same mindset. Um, uh, nice to see Kate again, uh, as always. Um, Kate and Unit are just amazing, just absolutely brilliant. Um, I'd have liked to have seen how losing each person has kind of affected Ruby. Which we did get in that Sarah Jane Adventures episode. Um, we saw sort of saw how it affected Clyde and stuff like that. He sat outside in the rain and stuff like that. Oh, we do see um, a scene with Ruby sat outside the door. We do see little bits, but it's like, how is this affecting her over this long period of time? In Sarah Jane Adventures, you don't, not enough time elapses to. Uh, to really see how Clyde is um, affected from all this curse stuff, but with this episode, I'd have sort of liked to have seen that a bit more. Um, and the certain parts I think were just a bit too much in too short of time. So like the Roger App William stuff, I think was too much in too short of time. Um, to really digest and take in um, you know I think if all that was happening in current day and we didn't get all the aging up uh, stuff then uh, it would have kind of made not made sense um, it would have kind of been a bit easier to digest it all uh, and so I've installed him a bit earlier on in the story and stuff like that um, but yeah, I think all it comes down to is just the ending, which just lets it down a little bit. Um, RTD has said this is the best thing he's ever written. Is that right? Yeah. Um, that's definitely still with Torch with Children of Earth. Uh, that's the best thing he's ever written. Or maybe years and years just tops him. Nah, Torch would. Um, and I think this episode is just going to be one of those that comes down to needing a second watch you know it's it's five past one in the morning um, this time is really not benefiting UK.2 fans um, and yeah it's it's a good episode I, I like it for what it is uh, there's lots of stuff that I did like and enjoy I just I think there's certain parts that could have been re reworked uh, but I'm I'm very excited to hear what you guys think because um, normally with say last week's episode and I say let me know what you guys think in the comments um, I've sort of got a bit of an expectation I'm like 
It's Stephen Moffat, he's back, everyone likes him. It was overall a really good episode. I kind of know what everyone's going, going to say. With this one, I've sort of got no idea. I feel like if opinions could be 50-50. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to hear what you guys think. Um, so, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Um, again, just... Again, just Melly Gibson was phenomenal. Great to see Kate back. Loved seeing um, all the people in her life start to go down. Um, in terms of who she still has and who can who she trusts and stuff like that. Um, but finding out who, who this woman is kind of just weighs the episode down a bit and what she actually says to people, you know, who, who is it? We know it's R Ruby, but why is she like this? You know what I'm saying. But yeah, second rewatch is going to be needed, that's for sure. But, that's it. Uh, that is all for this time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like. Uh, let me know what you thought of the episode, please, because I'm really excited to hear your your guys' uh, thoughts on this. Um, that's all for this time. Next week, we've got Dot and Bubble. Uh, going to be quite a good story, I think. I think it's going to be quite a fun one. Um, and yeah, that's all for this time. See you next week. Goodbye.